All right, let's go road trip to Portillo's and we are trying a brand new burger. I think I saw that this is the first time they have brought out a new burger over at uh, Portillo's. It is the Rodeo Burger. We're gonna check it out. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive. Live from the passenger seat, I'm, the, I'm not the pilot today and we are on a little road trip and we are hitting up poor Tillos. Check it out. If you're from Chicago, been to Chicago, uh, frequent uh, Chicago, you should know all about Portillo's hot dogs. They're also known for their Italian beef. Their Italian beef. I did a review on the hot dog, the, uh, what is it, that uh, shake that they put the whole uh, chocolate uh, cake inside the shake, mix it up. And I also did their uh, Italian beef, and I think there were some errors with the Italian beef. I almost did that again, uh, a little return to the Italian beef, but I saw the rodeo burger on the menu, and here it is in the box. I got the single. Check it out out i'm going to take it out in a second but that's what you're looking at right there one third pound charboiled charboiled char broiled burger brioche bun with a new thicker crispier uh bacon thinly sliced red onions and uh onion rings american cheese and then portillo's tangy barbecue sauce let's go all right so here we go look at this Check this out. Oh my goodness, look at the melty cheese on the bottom right there. The thick cut bacon, the uh, barbecue sauce, onions, everything going on. The rodeo burger. This might be a messy a messy burger right here, but I cannot wait to give it a try. Let's take a bite. All right, are we going to go one-handed? I don't know. I don't want to... Uh, I'm in a uh, foreign vehicle, so I don't want to make a mess of things, but here we go. Check it out. Upside down. The more you turn me, inside out, and round and round. Shout out Diana Ross as the sun just comes through the clouds. Let's take a bite. Rodeo burger over at uh, Portillo's. Uh, here we go. Wish me luck. Hmm. All right, so I had to put the air condition on. Hopefully you cannot hear it. Uh, it seems pretty uh, quiet, uh, but that was a messy first bite. I had some trouble on that bite uh, getting through, I believe, I want to say it was the onion rings. I'll have to watch the footage back of that. It was like I've never eaten before. It was like I've never eaten before because I had it one-handed. Everything kind of fell. I got some uh, substance on my shirt and uh, on my shorts. I did not have anything to cover the nether region. It is what it is. I will say this. This burger has that um, cookout flavor, has that flavor of like a burger that's on the backyard grill, like uh, definitely when uh, you're out for a cookout or something. So I like it, a nice little char on the outside. Whew, it's a hot day today. Um, but man, it is a messy, messy burger. Let me show you, I tried to kind of fix things a little bit, but look at it. There is just so much going on. So I respect the game. I respect all of the toppings, but um, yeah, it was a hard uh, first bite right there. Michael Scott. All right, second bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so listen, do I like this? Yes. Do I love it? No. It has great uh, potential. It is a sloppy burger. They loaded it with that uh, very smoky barbecue sauce. Uh, so I'm okay with the sauce. That thick cut bacon is legit. Check it out right here. The thick cut bacon is nice. 
but man, it was a sloppy burger. It's layered, so many layers, so I like it. I respect the build, but at the same time, just a little bit uh, hard to eat in the car. Uh, definitely something you probably want to eat on the inside over at Bartillo's. Uh, let me take a bite, a final bite of this thick cut bacon. Check it out right there. So I respect it that they're throwing a new burger on the menu. I think for the first time ever. I think that's what I read. Um, but with the uh, onion rings, you saw me kind of pulling through that last onion ring. It is a messy burger. Taste is okay. Backyard barbecue feel. I think if you're going to go to Partillo's, Portillo's, you better get the uh, Italian beef or the hot dogs, Chicago dog, and uh, call it a day. Where the burger is good, it's just not uh, upper tier for some of the other burgers you can get out there. My own two cents. All right, so listen, uh, I was happy I was able to try it. Uh, I'm second guessing myself. Maybe I should go back in and get uh, a second round of the Italian beef since I did have some issues uh, with that order. Uh, was it a year ago, year and a half ago, something like that? Uh, but I don't know. Let's give this burger a rating on a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the Rodeo Burger from Portillo's a rating of... I don't know, um, 82. I'm gonna give it an 82. Uh, definite room for improvement, but I did like the overall concept, the overall taste. There were just some things that I definitely would change. Uh, so there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, there you go. Portillo's, light up the comments. Would you get a burger at Portillo's if they're known for their uh, Italian beef and they're known for their hot dogs? Let me know. Probably already know the answer. Like to hear it from you, especially my peeps in Chicago. Shout out Chi Town. And there you go. Portillo's hot dog review, but of a burger. Thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.